Suki here and we're playing more Garmy Sherlock. Let's get into it. You don't say. Well, I would have been just fine with you taking over the role, you know. And it's not as if they've decided on him yet. They said that tomorrow he's going to have a formal audition. I've had a change of heart. If I'm going to be subject to watching you and that smug man perform that love scene together, then I'll give serious consideration to taking over the role of myself instead. <laughs> oh, Sherlock. Carissa lasted for almost the entire day, feeling happy and free now that it's over. I look up at Sherlock who walks beside me. By the way, Sherlock, if there's, there's something I want to ask you. There's something I want to talk to you about as well. Really? I guess what it is... I can guess what it is that you want to ask me. How about you? Do you know what it is that I want to talk to you about? Um... Let's see what Sherlock wants to talk to me about. I bet it's... About John! Is it about John? This morning John said he had feelings for me and that he was serious. That's right. You can see right through me, can't you? I see right through you. I see right through you. I'm afraid you've got me beat in that regard. Incidentally, I'm guessing that you want to ask me about Sarah's data. Yeah. Both of these topics are really important to me. However, should we start about start by talking about John? Yeah, I'd appreciate it if we could start with that. I knew how John felt. You're an amazing woman. It's no surprise that he's attracted to you the same way I am. Well, that... Yay! A wonderful choice! Yay! Yay! You've returned my feelings for you. That makes me very happy, of course. But I have no intention of letting my guard down now and assuming that you're mine. And that I can take it. And that I can just take it easily chose me, and I plan to do anything and everything for you, no matter what it takes. Sherlock. But as John says, only you get to decide how you feel. So if you decide that you've had enough of me someday, choose Don instead. If you're the one I'm in love with, only I get to decide how I feel, so I choose you. No one else can take your place. You're the one I love, not John. And when I get the chance, I plan on explaining this to him. Also, don't you think I'm the type of selfish, fickle person? Oh, also, do you think I'm the type of selfish, fickle person who would consider dating John when you and I are already in love? No, I don't. See? Okay, Sherlock gazes at me, a tender smile suddenly crosses his face. It seems that you really are beyond my ability to understand through logic and reasoning. <laughs> I chose... I'll choose to take that as a compliment. Of course, it is a compliment, so you should. Also, now that I'm even more in love with you... Me too. You know, you're even more adorable than I thought. You're just about the only person to ever call me adorable. The two of us look at each other and laugh. When I first met Sherlock, I never could have imagined that the day would come when we'd laugh together like this. Still, there's something else we need to focus on right now. Now then, let's talk about what's worrying you. It's about Sarah's data, isn't it? We just confirmed that a second ago! Hello? Were you there? Yes, you were! Hello? Right. I may be misinterpreting things, but... Sherlock, when you were looking at the data, you noticed something, didn't you? I did, but I don't want to tell you what it is. Why? Why? That's... strange. Could you tell me why it is you don't want to talk about it? Because there's a chance it could end up putting you in danger. I've been aware of the danger I've I'm in ever since those strange lights fell in the theater. Also, I can't accept being left in the dark, not understanding why it is someone is after what Sarah left for me. 
And I was aware that you would probably say that. Still, I prefer not to tell you. Sherlock, I am your girlfriend, but I am your client as well, right? You're going to protect me either way, aren't you? Oh dang. If you believe in me, you believe, and you believe in yourself as well, then I want you to tell me everything. Sherlock, please. Eventually, Sherlock looks down as if resigning himself to the fact that he can't keep this from me. Then looks at me once more. Did Sarah ever talk to you about her boyfriend? Her boyfriend? No, I don't remember ever hearing anything about that from her. A lot of men told her they were interested in her, but she always said that her only love was acting. In those pictures of hers, the same man appears again and again. And there are even several pictures that aren't actually of him, but in which he happens to show up in the background. There aren't any pictures that clearly show they're in a relationship, but I can tell they, they are by the way they look at each other. Sarah and the man were dating. Really? So then Sarah had a boyfriend? Even though I looked at the pictures, I didn't notice that at all. Sherlock really is amazing. Still, I can't believe that... believe Sarah had a boyfriend. In that case, I wonder if her last memories weren't so lonely after all. Good. Don't feel so relieved just yet. Remember how I told you that they were... There aren't any pictures that clearly show they're in a relationship. Taking out a cell phone, Shirley quickly makes his way through the series of menus. Whenever he's doing, it looks like he's done it before. If they had regular healthy relationships, you might expect to see pictures of them together, looking like a happy couple. Well, they aren't. They aren't any... There aren't... Oh, I can't speak. There aren't any pictures of us together looking like a happy couple either, you know. Our relationship just started. Do you remember seeing this man? That, Sherlock thrust his cell phone in front of me. There's this, there on a screen is one of the pictures from Sarah's SD card. Oh. Oh god, a sweetie checkpoint. I don't think I passed it. Okay. Oh man! I need some diamonds. Oh, God. Hold on. Hold on. Go to hiding kicks. Maybe we can raise it through that. Maybe. I've already done it today though, so I have like nothing. to see me do, sweetie! Yay! How fun! See, I've already done it today. And with that, I think we passed the checkpoint. So home. Special chance. Sweetie checkpoint. Yeah, we passed it. Yay, check me. Cleared. Yay. Bring it on. Is this Sarah's data? When did you put it on your cell phone? I've made it so the data from John's laptop syncs with my phone in real time. Don't tell him, okay? God damn it, Sherlock! Anyway, returning to the matter at hand, do you remember seeing this man? Sherlock ins at Sherlock's incess insistence. Bleh. I take a good look at the man shown on the screen of his phone. Whenever I saw Sarah, I, it was always just the two of us. I'm afraid she almost never introduced her other friends to me. 
Look carefully. He's in his late 20s with brown hair and brown eyes. He's an American originally from the Czech Republic, perhaps Prague. From his appearance, his facial features, as well as the way he carries himself, I guess I guess he's from a rich upper class family. He went to Ed Eton College as what well, as a youth, graduated from Oxford. Oh God! Oh God! Who's this? He's a handsome man with a nauseating personality. He's flashy both in ways he spends his money as well as the company he keeps. He's broken more women's hearts. Then there are stars in the sky. <laughs> Start to hear someone cut into our conversation. I turn my head and see. Oh god, Jeremy? Well, hello, Suki. We meet again. And hello to my crop's little brother as well. Airlock? It's Sherlock. How many times do I have to tell you before you'll get it right? Also, what are you doing here, Jeremy Castle? Not for a walk, but more importantly, that man in the picture, Clark Smith. Did something happen to him? But, Jeremy, do you know this person? And indeed, just as Sherlock deduced, his family earned their fortune in an important bit in, in the importing business. And he's their heir to the business conglomerate. Incidentally, he's 28 year, years old and single. As I said before, he's a handsome man with a nauseating personality. He's flashing both ways, he spends his money as well as the company he keeps. And he's broken more women's heart than there are stars in the sky. Jeremy, I thought you were describing yourself. Oh damn! Oh damn! Uh, you got, got a point. You've got a point. Clark and I are similar, aren't we? I hadn't realized. Rather than responding to Sherlock's sarcasm with more sarcasm, he just brushes it aside as a joke. That was actually fairly big of him. Um, would you mind if I asked you what relationship is, your relationship is exactly to Clark Smith? Not at all. I often see him at parties and at the art gallery I usually go to. Though that's about it, really. Uh, but don't misunderstand. But don't misunderstand me. I'm not referring to the sort of incident parties aimed at people with questionable motives. They're all respectable social gatherings. No one cares. Oh dang, Sherlock hates everyone associated with my crap. <laughs> it's hilarious. <sighs> Speaking to Jeremy in a cold and unfriendly tone, Sherlock zooms in on Sarah's smiling face on his cell phone and then shows it to him. Anyway, do you ever remember seeing this woman? Well, now we're getting into it. She's a cute one, isn't she? Nosuke is really more my type. I asked whether you remember...